have some really fond memories of playing with outdoor retreats, and to be honest, I might have a little bit of an emotional attachment to it because it was the first ever pack for The Sims 4. I was unbelievably excited when they first announced this, but looking back on it now, eight years later, yeah, I know, it came out in January of 2015, so it's been a long time. I don't really think that Outdoor Retreat holds up as one of the best Sims packs, but it has been a while since I went back and like really played through this entire pack. And so today, on my little quest to revisit all of the oldest Sims packs, I want to go back to Outdoor Retreat. I made a video like this about Jungle Adventure recently, and I can link that down below for you, but this time we are going camping. So I made a Sim, and I tried to use a lot of the casts that came in this pack. It's kind of interesting for me to go back and look at all of these cast items, because to be honest, I don't really use any of these anymore. But this was the first ever new pack that we got, so this was like the first new cast we ever had in The Sims 4. There is a really, really abnormal amount of shoes in this pack. Like, we got so many new sneakers. The packs that come out these days maybe have one or two pairs of shoes. Outdoor Retreat has so many, there's like more than a full page. And at the time, these new hairs were a game changer because we only had the base game hairs. This was like the first time we got any new hairs, and I remember being absolutely obsessed with this one. I also still really like this ponytail a lot, but I used to use these hairs on like every sim because we didn't have that many hair options. But yeah, as far as cast goes, the big standouts are like the bear costume and maybe the excessive amount of shoes. It's not really like a cast pack. I don't think it's known for its really nice creative sim items. The build stuff isn't exactly a standout either. It's very cabin-y and like camping trip inspired. It does have a couple nice features though. So we've got these tents, obviously. Your sims can cook and like roast marshmallows on these fire pits. We got coolers that work like fridges so you can store like quick meals in there. It was kind of nice to have this like outdoor shower type stuff too, especially for rags to riches type of gameplay. A lot of these things come in really handy for that, but I wouldn't really say this is the kind of furniture that I want to use in my everyday house building. A lot of these wooden things look very like homemade almost, so that's really nice for like certain styles of builds, but I don't really use these things every day. I definitely use them when I build like cabins or like, you know, places out in the woods, that sort of thing. There's no windows, there's no doors. We did get a couple wallpapers. I actually really, really love this like log cabin one, and this foundation is one of my favorites in the entire game, but otherwise I probably wouldn't recommend buying this pack for build items. The main selling point obviously is the vacations, because you can travel on a camping trip to the new world. No, no, not that new world. We're trying to go camping. I don't want to play with a Star Wars pack. So we got a new vacation world called Granite Falls, which honestly really is not that big. It's just got a handful of lots. It's technically two neighborhoods, so there's kind of like this main area where there's a few places to stay, and then a park up here. And the main features of the pack are obviously vacations, which was a huge deal. Now we've got other vacation destinations and you can build rental lots anywhere with the base game, so it's not as big of a deal. But back then, like when this first came out, every single one of my sims went on a camping honeymoon. Like literally every single one of my sims. And while you're on vacation, you can use the hiking trails, you can collect bugs, there's a new herbalism skill where there's like some new plants you can grow and stuff, and there's like a secret neighborhood you can access while you're hiking around. So there's kind of some interesting things to discover. For our purposes, I don't really want to stay in a real cabin. I think I want to camp on the cheap campground. It's kind of cute because there's some like really nice ones that've got full bedrooms and like big, big spaces, or you could stay in a literal empty campground, which is what I'm going for. The default campground area doesn't really have a lot going on. It's got a fire pit. We have this horseshoe thing, which is kind of cool. I actually never use this anymore, and I used to think it was so fun, <laughs> so I should probably try and put it in my builds more often. This just isn't a thing that I think about, to be honest. I guess it's kind of nice. You can like probably build your fun that way. Oh, and then also the forest ranger comes by and like offers you advice, and his name is the same as mine. They're both named Allie, that's kind of funny. Well, I'll introduce myself. This is like almost a little tutorial-y, so if we had any questions, we could ask him for help. Here's kind of an overview of the world. This area is where I want to go next, because I would like to buy some supplies here from this little stall. This is kind of helpful, because you can click on it, and it'll like direct your sim to their house, direct them to the bathroom, you can read some info, and you can explore from here. 
here. But on this, you can buy a lot of supplies. So obviously we're gonna need a tent. I might get us a fancy one. They even sell like pet supplies if you've got cats and dogs. I'm gonna get a cooler, a tent, maybe a light. And I think a chair might be kind of useful as well. Oh, they sell sleeping bags. I was wondering about that because now we have toddler sleeping bags from growing together. That's kind of cute that they have that here. And they even sell cribs as well. So if you brought an infant, don't worry, they will have a place to be. And then you can like drag this stuff out of your inventory and kind of set up your little campsite over here. Now that I think about it, one of the last times I took my Sims camping, they died in a fire from one of these fire pits. So hopefully we don't have any issues like that today. Oh, okay, we're cloud gazing. Um. That's good. There's also a lot of little areas kind of around the world, like fire pits out here. There's grills out here. This is the bathroom, so you can pee in here and shower in here. You can see some of the other cabins around this way as well. We will probably make some good use out of this area because there's like some garden planters over here. Annoyingly, all of these things are out of season, so that's a little bit inconvenient. <laughs> but look, there's like wild plants. This one's an unidentified flower, so we can harvest it and then try and learn what this stuff is. And then we can try to attempt to identify it. Did you? eat it? Is that how they do that? That feels very stupid. <laughs> to just eat it? Allie has no idea what plant this is. Oh, okay, good. So you just ate something random? Oh, and there's a bear walking around. All right. And then with this herbalism skill, we can brew some remedies on grills. We can make insect repellent. We can make sadness alleviation. I just have no skills, so I can't make anything. I think I might just spend some time kind of wandering around trying to harvest stuff because there are a lot of plants like all over the place. You can't dislike gardening. That's like the whole thing we're doing today. There is a new aspiration that comes in this pack and all the aspirations are kind of like tutorial content. Although the older aspirations used to be a lot more in depth. This one wants us to harvest a lot of plants, catch fish, get herbalism skill, cook plates of beetles over a campfire, stuff like that. Oh my God, it's bugs. <laughs> Wait, we can collect these insects. This is extremely important. Oh, bug bite from trying to catch an insect. Did I not even get it? It didn't even work. You suck. There's more over here. Oh, I got three ladybugs. Oh my gosh, I actually got three of them. I actually have not done this, like this bug catching thing in literal years. Usually when I bring my sims here, I don't bother with the bugs. <laughs> so this is kind of interesting for me to try again. I got Jezebel butterflies too. Oh, there's actually a lot of bugs around the place. They're all over. Fishing volume one. There we go. Okay, I just bought the skill book so we can hopefully try and learn some stuff and get a move on with this skill building. Oh. You're gonna sit right next to the bathroom and read it? Okay. That's an interesting choice. Look at how disgusting it is. There's like flies everywhere. That's on you. I didn't tell you to sit there. I'm getting a little bit lonely, so I might come talk to this bear and then try and catch a fish for dinner. Do you wanna go fishing together? Oh, we have bad compatibility with the bear. <laughs> That's good. Maybe I'll make a little roasted fish. That's kind of cute. She caught this and now she's cooking it for dinner. Looks a little bit scary, but <laughs> that's fine. Oh, oh, that's fancy. Okay, I don't know where you got that lemon from, but <laughs> that's a nice touch. Ew, I caught three bees. I've got a bunch of unidentified plants now. Maybe I'll try to attempt to identify them. I know that means she has to eat them, which is probably unsafe, but toxic chamomile. Oh, and regular chamomile. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good. Also elderberry and noxious elderberry. Are you gonna be good? Cause you did you did bite into those. Dustin broke is here. Celebrities just wander in the woods. Okay, well I kind of wanted to go to the park because there is this separate area, the Granite Falls Forest National Park. So over here in the National Park, there is like a big lot that you can build on. It's got, you know, normal stuff like a bathroom and some campfires, but it also has a building. The building is kind of cool. It's like a cabin area. There's like a woodworking table. There's some stuff on display. Inside you can see some bugs and frogs that people have found. It's almost like a, a museum or something because it shows off all of the collectibles that you can get. And then there's a lot of area that you can walk around. I used to have so many of my sims get engaged right here in front of this waterfall. I haven't done that in so long, but I used to be here all the time. <laughs> this was the only place you could visit on vacation, so I took advantage of it. What do you want? Oh, the bear wants to get to know Mortimer Goth. Yeah, go for it. There's also a bunch of different plants that you can get over here, so I'm gonna wander around and try and force her to collect all of them. Ew, come collect these. It is really pretty in Granite Falls though, huh? Like, look at this area over here. What are you doing? Don't go to the bathroom. We got stuff to identify. I don't even know where the bathrooms are. Fine, you can go. I'll keep looking for stuff. Oh, they're just right there. <laughs> They're not actually that far away. Three stink bugs, gross. Wait, look at these. I'm sorry, you can't go to the bathroom yet. I'm busy. I don't actually remember where the entrance to the secret world is. It's somewhere kind of far back in a corner. Like, oh, it's right there. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. So in comparison to everything else, it's like way back by these rocks over here. That was a little bit easier than I thought it would be to find. I have memories of it being a lot harder to find than that, but I guess I used to play on my laptop. And so maybe I just had a harder time seeing it because my graphics were so terrible on there. <laughs> I would get more lost in the woods more easily. Before we go in there, I want to finish going around and collecting all this stuff just in case there's anything else that I'm missing. It is kind of easy to get lost back here in these woods. And I guess it is getting kind of late, so we could wait until the morning. Maybe for now we can just attempt to identify all this stuff. Oh, I can't tell what most of it is. <laughs> That's good. I'm actually missing quite a few different things that I haven't found yet. It's a little bit confusing to look at these collections tabs now because there's so many packs that stuff is from, but you can see like all the things that we haven't found. A lot of them are kind of rare. What are you doing? Oh, it looked a lot worse from this angle. I was like, are you laying in the middle of those bushes? She still is, but perhaps it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I'm gonna send her back home to the campsite. We can come back to the park tomorrow. I want to like roast some beetles, take a shower. Oh, Agatha Crumplebottom. <laughs> well, hi. I'm feeling a little bit lonely, so if you want to talk, that actually would be really great for me. Okay, hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Oh my goodness. Let's roast some beetles. Oh, we actually can brew a couple of these different herbal remedies. I know it's kind of late, but I'm actually curious to try. Should we make some insect repellent? Why would you just put it on the floor? Put it in your inventory. Oh, I don't have enough basil to make anything else. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I think there was basil just around here. Oh, here's some. Make a soothing skin balm. Level four, we can now make de-stressing decoction remedies. I'm gaining cooking skill from that, roasting these beetles over the campfire. I also burnt my arm, so that's not good. <laughs> that is less than ideal. We're all showered and ready to go, so I think I wanna go access that secret world. Hold on, if I can find it again. <laughs> I forget which direction it was. It's on this side, back here somewhere. It's there, okay. Oh my God, there's another proper solution. Celebrity. How are we finding all these stars like out in the middle of the woods? <laughs> Sims cannot explore the bramble patch while uncomfortable. Are you joking? Okay, it's just 48 more minutes. I was gonna say, that's really inconvenient. <laughs> no, it's almost gone, that's fine. What are you doing? Okay, can I help you? Can I have your autograph? I can have your autograph, well that's fun. Maybe Sims just spawn over here. What the heck, it's another celebrity. What are you all doing? <laughs> Did they like improperly tune it so that so many celebrities come to the woods? Maybe they come here on purpose so they can get away from all the like hustle and bustle of Del Sol Valley. All right, exploring the brambles. Surrounded by thicket, thorns, and danger most assuredly, Allie is left with only one decision. Step forward or retreat from adventure. Obviously step forward. After several minutes of hacking furiously through the brush, a large web is blocking Allie's way. One would prefer that web is not paired with a spider. Find alternate route or go through web. Go through the web. Allie marches through the brush in high spirits, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, temptation. Take it? As Allie reaches for the shiny succulent treasure, more shiny things link. The shine was not that of a jewel, but of a woodland monster. There's woodland monsters in there? Are you kidding? Okay, redo. <laughs> Sorry. Allie feels she's on the verge of finding something special, something to make this all worth it, but is quickly tiring. Should Allie take a quick nap or sally forth? No, go forward. Allie has navigated the nigh foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest, a cove containing a mysterious sim. Let's go. Travel into the deep woods. <laughs> so we have this whole secret lot you can go to, and a sim lives out here. Oh, that's kind of cute music. I assume I assume there's probably also a lot of special collectibles we can find over here. Why do you keep trying to cloud gaze? They autonomously cloud gaze constantly in this world. Oh, and the bear has befriended the goths. Good. You know, looking back on this, um, the quality of this world <laughs> is actually not that good. <laughs> like the texture on this, it's not their finest work. I remember loving this so much back in the day, but I, I can be objective and realize that it's, you know, it maybe doesn't hold up as well eight years down the line compared to their more recent worlds. Oh, look at this. Look at all these plants. Of course, none of them are in season because that would be too easy. Well, this is the person's house who lives out here and I can steal from their garden. <laughs> so I absolutely will be doing Doing that. I'm really sorry, but um, I came all this way because I wanted to like unlock a bunch of things. So, oh, they even have like a woodworking table and stuff that you can use. Here, look, I'll water their plants for them. How about that? You're welcome. If I remember correctly, I think there's even some special fish that you can only catch over here. This is Brock. Shall we fish together? <laughs> Maybe. We almost definitely don't have high enough fishing skill to catch the special fish, but we can try. Oh, I got a cow plant berry. Well, that's good. More things to kill my sin. Another one? Oh, I like this place. 
It's nice out here. Mountain lionfish. Oh my goodness. We've caught a couple fish that are outdoor retreat exclusive. We caught this walleye, a yellow perch, a mountain lionfish that is rare and can only be found in mountainous regions. That might be the special one. Oh good, we win. I can't click on him. Maybe I'll try and introduce myself then now that I've done some fishing. Do you want to be friends? I think he likes me. He thinks I'm funny at least. I have to eat 10 plants for my aspiration. I'm not really sure if that's a terrible idea. Oh, poison fire leaf. Okay. Fire leaf, huckleberry, moral mushroom. We can make some tummy therapy. Should we try that? Now I can brew clear mind distillation and fire leaf extract remedies. Oh, I don't have any fire ants. Oh my gosh. This is the thing. To make all this stuff is actually kind of difficult. You need a lot of things that you have to find. What do you think happens if I eat poison fire leaf? Dazed and bemused. A raging grace that tasted like a sundae topped with anger. Oh, well that's not that bad. Like surely worse things could happen to us. We're just having some slightly unpleasant <laughs> emotional responses. Oh, it wants me to befriend him. I also need to identify one more unidentified plant and craft three excellent herbal remedies. The aspiration's not that bad. The last thing is to max the skill, sleep in a tent for five days and collect some insects. That's easy. I would argue that last step is probably the easiest out of all of them. What are you doing at my campsite? <laughs> There's so many random sims around always. Yeah, we're missing just the one mushroom. I have it too, I just can't identify it yet. <gasps> Are those fireflies? Oh, that's so cute. It is slightly unpleasant weather today. <laughs> it's not that nice out. Sadness alleviation lotion. Let's try that. Ew. <laughs> oh, that counted as being excellent. Now you're making mushroom steak. Well, after you eat that, do you wanna try one of these different remedies we've made? I guess we're feeling okay, so I don't really know what happens. Should I get some insect repellent? I used it. I, I don't know. I don't see anything happening, but I guess that's because it's um, repelling insects. <laughs> okay, the weather is really kind of ruining the vibes here. She's just running around terrified because of the storm. <laughs> But while she does that, let's talk about this pack. We kind of talked about this earlier, but I just have so many fond memories of playing Outdoor Retreat for the first time and like laying in my bed at my parents' house when I was in high school and playing this pack on my laptop and being so excited about it. This was such a big deal when it came out because we didn't have any packs. We had never had a game pack before in a previous Sims game. We always had stuff packs and expansion packs, but this idea of a game pack was new. It was so cool to have another world to come visit. It was great to get to go on vacation, but a lot of the thoughts that I have, like positive thoughts that I have about this pack are based on how I felt about it eight years ago, <laughs> just because I have like some nostalgia for it. Why are you laying in that puddle? I think compared to other game packs that we have, this one really isn't as good. Even compared to the other vacation game packs that we have, I'd probably argue that Jungle Adventure is like a more interesting place to go on vacation. There's more that your Sims can do while you're there on vacation, but there is something kind of like cute and quaint about going camping. So it is kind of nice to have like the great outdoors to come and visit. There just isn't really that much interesting stuff to do while you are camping. Like I don't really intend to use the herbalism skill all that much in the future and I, I don't use it. I haven't used it in years. Directly comparing it to Jungle Adventure, like the whole temple system is way, way cooler. But I do use a lot of this stuff from this pack in like more everyday games gameplay at home. I'm talking about like the coolers and like the outdoor lawn chairs, the fire pit I use all the time. I also love to play this sort of like rags to riches gameplay storyline where my sim starts off with zero simoleons. Oh my god, please leave me alone. Go on a date, sure. <laughs> but it's nice to have things like the tent for that purpose. Oh my god. <laughs> It's getting a little bit rough out here. Okay. You can actually also woohoo in the tent, which is kind of fun. I do love when a pack has a new woohoo spot. I don't know if now is the best time to be doing this, but oh, good. Um, <laughs> I think Brock just set that on fire, so that's really helpful. Yeah, I don't know if now is the best time to try and woohoo in this tent, but I want to show you. It's kind of cute. You know, they go in the tent, the whole tent shakes there's like hearts and stuff. It's all very romantic. But anyway, I do like this pack. It's just not my, um, <laughs> it's just not my most favorite compared to the other game packs. Okay, so my sim just got struck by lightning. On that note, kind of the whole purpose of this video was just to revisit Outdoor Retreat and give
give it another chance now that it's been out for a few years and see how it holds up. So I've kind of been trying to collect my thoughts on this, and I think my final thoughts are that it is fun, it's just not the most fun. If you were going to buy just one game pack, there's quite a few that I'd probably recommend over this one. But this whole thing is so personal, like there's stuff that you might love and use all the time that I never use, so it's hard to give one blanket recommendation. I will say that the other game packs that come with worlds, like residential worlds, are probably more useful day to day. It stinks that this world is only a vacation world because you can't live here. That's why I prefer some of the other game packs because it's really nice that they come with a new place for your sims to live. And now that we have vacationing in the base game and you can build a rental lot anywhere, you don't really need this pack as much. But if you like camping, if you like playing in the outdoors and doing a lot of like challenge type stuff, this might be a useful pack to have. For me personally though, I don't think there's anything super groundbreaking about the gameplay. Like the whole new skill, I, I really never ever use and I'm not exaggerating. You have to come here to work on that herbalism skill and I just don't come camping that much, so I don't have the average sim pursuing that really. Now having played with this one and Jungle Adventure both kind of back to back, I think I'd probably recommend Jungle Adventure over this one. The world is bigger and more interesting, there's more gameplay involved, and I think the build mode in that pack is more usable for like other purposes. This one is very, very camping focused, whereas Jungle Adventure could work for other build styles. As far as other game packs go, right now, honestly, I think that Parenthood is one of my all-time favorites. I also, unfortunately, use Dine Out a lot as well, and neither of those two have worlds. And the Werewolves pack, even though I don't really like to play with occult sims that much, I think is arguably their best game pack out of all of them. It's got some really impressive features and a pretty big new world. That's kind of a theme with the Sims packs though, where like the oldest packs are not as good and then the newest ones are a lot better. This one came out eight years ago, so she's not their finest work. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch that Jungle Adventure one, I'll link it down below. Let me know in the comments what pack you think we should go back to next. It's a little bit harder to do in just one video because there's a lot more in an expansion pack, but I'm actually kind of interested to go back to get to work, specifically the retail system because I haven't used that in a while. But after that, what else do you guys want to see? Let me know. And also, how do you feel about Outdoor Retreat? Do you have a similar nostalgia for this pack like I do or is that just me? You know those like really vivid memories you have sometimes where you can picture like what it even smelled like when something was happening? I have this really vivid memory of being like 14 laying in my bed at home. There's a candle burning. I'm eating these mint chocolate chip cookies and I'm playing with this camping pack. This is gonna sound so silly, but I genuinely associate the taste of mint with Outdoor Retreat because of that memory. So even if she's not the best game pack, I, I do still really like this one. And I'm kind of curious to hear what you all think about it, because I, I feel like that might be a sort of unique experience that I have. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Mint really is a very odd thing to associate with a Sims pack, specifically a camping Sims pack, but I just have such a strong memory of that weekend when it first came out.